In this video, we're going to be talking about Pisces Sun in the second house natally and what this placement means when you have it in your birth chart. So if you have this placement, you're in the right place. And we're going to start by talking about the meanings of the sun in astrology and what it shows. The sun rules the fifth house and the sign Leo in astrology. And Leo is a fixed fire sign. Fire is about action, and the fixed signs are about a constant state of being, being fixed, staying the same. So when it's fire, this is about a constant way of acting. And that's why the sun shows ego, and it shows our personality, how our actions particularly come across to others. And it also shows our talents, things that come easy, easily to us. Or things that we're passionate about. So a lot of times astrologers will use the sun to show uh, career. Because a lot of times career is aligned to our passions. And sometimes somebody can have a career that is not something they're passionate about. And that's when they're doing something that's not in alignment to their sun sign or to their passions. Um, there could be a negative aspect to the sun. But it can help with career as well for the reason of passions um and it's also how we're seen by others it's our value to others and what attracts others to us so when you have the sun in the second house this is all about values resources material things possessions and in terms of resources resources don't always have to be material they can be about talents or innate tools that we have mental faculties for example that's a tool but it's not physical so when the sun is in the second house this shows somebody that is resourceful they are very capable individuals they always have the resources to achieve their goals um, they love to make plans um, and they like to break things down into the basics and um they like to think about the resources that it will take to achieve things. Um, the second house is an earth house and it's associated with the sign Taurus. Taurus is all about the material realm and it's all about practicality. But the main placement is Pisces. And Pisces is all about creativity. It's all about imagination. So individuals that have the sun in Pisces in the second house are imaginative individuals. And they're creatively practical. They sometimes like to create physical art. And they are just imaginative when it comes to what's possible in the material world. So the natural sign that has the second house in Pisces um, is Aquarius. And Aquarius is all about inventors and people that innovate and that do things differently so that could be an aspect of yourself when you have this placement a lot of times you think of things that other people haven't thought about and like i said you're quite resourceful when the sun is in the second house it's also in the tenth from its own house which is the fifth house and the fifth house i'm sorry the tenth house is all about ambition and it's about our status and it's about our career so people who have the sun in the second house in pisces there's often an element of creativity to their careers and they have a lot of creative ambitions things that they want to materialize especially dreams that they have and they're focused on their imagination. They're very focused on what's possible. So the reason why is because the second house shows things that we're focused on. It rules values. And values on a spiritual level are just things that we pay attention to. Things that have the most attention have the most value manifested to it. For example, currency. 
Money is just something that most people pay attention to. That's what gives it value. So when somebody has the sun in the second house, they love to focus on the main objectives. And that's what makes people in the second house so passionate about finances and resources a lot of times because they like to focus on material things. But with Pisces being in the second house, this shows that you have unconventional values. Like you like to imagine the future and you like to imagine things that can be possible to make um, because Pisces is about the non-physical things and it's about things that have not yet materialized. So that's why it shows artists a lot of times that have this placement. And also because the second house is ruled by Venus. Venus is about beauty, balance, and aesthetics. So you have a aesthetic talent when you have this placement. And in terms of Pisces, when the sun is in Pisces, it shows somebody that's quite adaptable because Pisces is a mutable water sign. Mutable is about change and water is about creativity or about changing forms. So people with the sun in Pisces, a lot of times they change their approach or they change their way of acting even when they're around others. And in in your case, it's in the second house. And the second house has to do with resources. So for you, instead of changing yourself when, when you're around others, you tend to be resourcefully adaptable like you change your whole circumstances to you when you have this placement and you're able to like use whatever you have creatively to make things happen so you're often the student in class that comes up with a really creative solution to a problem or that um stands out in art classes especially or like Um, even science classes, things that have to do with technology um, because the natural sign that has the second house in Pisces is Aquarius. Aquarius is about technology. Um, But you guys are inventive people, if that makes any sense, because you adapt your resources to things and you adapt your approach. So with that being said, if I really had to sum up this placement in one sentence to make it more clear, It just shows somebody that is creatively practical and has an interest in art, creativity, sharing things publicly as well because the sun is in the 10th house from its own uh, house. And the 10th house is about our interactions with the public. So a lot of times you're valued for the things that you create and that you share on the public stage. And this could be part of your career as well. Um, sharing your imagination in a physical form, something that you had to materialize. Um, and these are just people that are good with resources and they like to focus on what's possible with resources. Um, so the sun can also show a, our career as well because it shows our passions. So people that are doing a career that they're passionate about and that have the sun in Pisces, one important element of their uh, career is that They need to be able to imagine what to do with a certain set of resources that they are given. So they do good in creative careers or careers that have to do with investments, finances as well, or building some sort of vision. And they're good at inventing. They're good at coming up with solutions and creating streams of income as well. So that really sums up this placement. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that it resonated. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching and supporting in any way that you do. If you'd like a NATO chart reading, then check out the link in my description for my Patreon. And for more specific inquiries about your chart or questions, I have an email as well in the description. So definitely check those out if that interests you. And other than that, I will talk to you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace. In terms of the career, I meant to emphasize Sun and Pisces in the second house. They like to 
think about resources and how to use them. And sometimes they can be good in finances and thinking about investing or creating things or building things. And the last thing I was going to say is that since the sun shows our value to others and how we shine in the world and how we want to be seen and it's our personality, people with the sun in the second house, they are individuals that like to be valuable and everything they do is a reflection of value, either to gain value or either to appear valuable or seem valuable and everything they do is to increase their their sense of self-worth or their material value and when it's in pisces this is about being adaptable so these people they they like to be able to tackle any situation and that's how they feel important in the world that's where their ego comes from They like to be a resource to others or they like others to look at them as like an example of success or like somebody that is important or valuable or that can solve problems with their talents or their resources. So also it shows talents um, because the second house is about non-physical resources as well. And with Pisces, it's about creative talents. So I wanted to add that as well.